took us two and a half hours to get here in horrendous traffic, but now we're here in the Hilton Curio Collection Hotel in the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. I'm standing outside our room, and this is the lobby of the hotel. We are now at McCormick and Schmidt's adjacent to the hotel, maybe even in the hotel, I don't know. And got quite a menu, looks good. A raspberry mule. Don't see any raspberries. And I'm having just an old fashioned, old fashioned. You have to take my word for it. The oysters were just spectacular. Including. And the fried oysters were too. Excellent. <laughs> We both ordered New England clam chowder and we've started to sample it. It's really, really good. This is a phyllo wrapped salmon with feta and wild mushrooms and spinach saute. And goat cheese. Oh, and goat cheese. Right. Thank you. I've ordered blackened rockfish with crab meat and there's spinach and mushrooms there too. We'll be going down and have breakfast in the lobby. It's about 9.30 in the morning after a not a very good sleep because of a lot of noise outside at Inner Harbor. We'll be going down for breakfast. A lobby breakfast, it's good, really good. They have an egg station mm -hmm. where they have somebody who'll make any kind of eggs you want. They've got bacon and sausage and waffles if you want them. Waffles if you want them. Mm -hmm. Too late. Oh, you have other stuff, right? Well, sure. Mm -hmm. Let me try that again. A modicum of fruit. We're on board the American Cruise Line's Constitution, and we're in a veranda suite, and it's very spacious, bigger than most hotel rooms. Nice king-size bed. Decent bathroom with a shower. And a nice veranda. Even though it's December 22nd, it's a beautiful day in Baltimore. This is the Inner Harbor. And tomorrow we'll be setting sail for Chesapeake Bay. Yeah. We're enjoying the cocktail hour with our neighbors, Mary and Jim. But and Merrily. Will they ever be able to read anything? No, Mary, another Mary has joined us. She's sitting next to Merrily. Jim. I've never seen them though write their whole name. Mary. A signature. There's Pat. People are starting to arrive, I guess. Oh, 
Dutch, might be Dutch like that. <laughs> and here comes the waitress with the drinks. We're enjoying our top shelf cocktails and they're passing around finger foods, quesadillas, flatbreads with sun-dried tomatoes, and pot stickers. Oh, very good. We have some singers from Towson State College. Well, our first dinner on board. <laughs> and any and all of these wines are included with dinner and beer. We're both starting dinner with the white bean soup. Nice looking, all those sterile dining room. They should find somebody who can decorate the boats better. But still, it's very nice, very comfortable. I have some gold shrimp. This is what they call the tomato Caesar salad. Oh, okay. With blue cheese. <laughs> well, we had dinner with Seal and Larry and Phil and, and Joan and Pat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right back and we're sitting with our newest friends. The McCoys. The McCoys. The real McCoys. <laughs> From Augusta, Georgia. Right. So say hi. Hi. Hello. And we're going to be having lunch together. At the left-hander table. With a left-handed waiter. Amazing. <laughs> He well, photographs a, everything. Oh! <laughs> this is a puny cup of Maryland corn chowder with lobster. Their soup cups are very puny. So call it a demi cup. Demi cups. Okay. This is a wonderful looking poached seafood salad. <laughs> this is the galley steak sandwich. Uh, pickled onions, roasted potato salad, marinated tomatoes, and blue cheese mayo. Looks good. Do you like it? I haven't been there. Oh, yes. You like it. The bread. But then decided there's a better place to live. Stay at the side. Well, we're leaving Baltimore, sailing toward the Chesapeake Bay. Cruising past Fort McHenry. We're approaching the Key Bridge, which is part of the Baltimore Beltway. And then once we pass that bridge, we'll be in the Chesapeake Bay. Oh, that, yeah. Every afternoon, they bring us a treat like this. This is today's special goodie.
We're passing under the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. What a fitting way to end Monday. A beautiful sunset. That is a brown, maple brown sugar scallop with red onion, jam, and corn risotto. We're having dinner with Debbie Atkinson and Oliver Austin. I don't have the slightest idea. Oh, this is asparagus and crab soup. Well, that's why we keep the menu here. That's good. This is asparagus and crab soup. Yes. She has seared chicken Oscar, sweet potato rice pilaf, asparagus holiday sauce, and crab meat. More crab meat. Yeah. Well, you're going to be crabby tonight. Okay. Did I get the order? I'm okay. I'm okay. No okay. water? Not anymore. I'm starting to freeze myself. This is a braised lamb shank. Does everyone, does everyone want a breakfast? Looks good to me. Thank you. See you later. This is what's left of a piece of pecan pie. And this is what's left of a piece of cheesecake. With sour cherry compound. Quote. And there's one that's even in worse shape than the one I have got. <laughs> Okay, what's breakfast this morning? I have poached eggs with asparagus and hollandaise. And? And? Crab meat. Crab meat. Oh yes, there it is. We're on one of the two sun decks. And we're docked in Norfolk, Virginia. For the day. Here's one of the many naval ships at the world's largest naval base. Norfolk also happens to be the U.S. headquarters for NATO. Here we are at the Christmas Village.
Nicholas first My name's Jeffrey. What's your name? I'm sorry? Portland? Very nice to meet you. Are you excited for Christmas tomorrow? Oh yeah? What did you ask for? Yep, we're in the dining room again. And we both ordered the chicken soup, which we both eaten and it was delicious. And we both ordered the shrimp and grits. I'm having it as it's printed on the menu with goat cheese and Pat's having it with cheddar cheese.
ready for dinner. Okay. Christmas Eve in the dining room and the napkins are folded like Christmas trees. Yes. It's a festive group here. Oh, having dinner. This is Maryland vegetable crab soup. I don't think the vegetables are from Maryland, but the crab supposedly is. All the tables have centerpieces, and most of them are Christmas trees. This is the first time we've sat at a table with a snowman. Ho, ho, ho. This is what's left of my short ribs. And this is what's left of a wonderful the crab, cake. crab cake that was topped with asparagus. Yes. They posted tomorrow's Christmas dinner menu, and it's going to be a buffet. It's Christmas morning, and we're on our way to Yorktown. We'll be docking in about an hour or less. I'm not sure what the bridge is, but it's pretty impressive. I have some lobster benedict, which I started eating. Oatmeal. It's Christmas morning, and we're docked in Yorktown on the York River. And we see just in front of the ship the US 17 Highway Bridge. We're in the process of playing right. Secret Santa, and we're all going to draw numbers for gifts. If you have number one, you're going to come up to this wonderful, beautiful table of gifts, and you're going to grab any gift you want, whichever one feels lucky for you. And then that gift is yours, for now. Because then whoever has number two, they're going to come up and they can either say, actually, I want your gift, so you must not safe. If you get number one, oh, it's risky. It's risky. <laughs> oh, man, there's so many. The bag is nice. Has a card. It's looking good. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. We've got here a red cardinal bag. Rope handles. Zipper top. Ooh, there's goodies inside. <laughs> She had to get the right gift. You can take the whole bag too, if you'd like. Well, we lost the gift that she originally picked out, so now she's picking another one. Cool. All right, number 18. It's Christmas Day, and we're on the back porch having freshly grilled hamburgers, and excellent crab soup, crab, crab chowder. Yeah. And although it's Christmas Day and we're in Yorktown, Virginia, the sun is beating down nice and hot. Temperature's got to be in the 50s, but it feels warmer here under the sunlight. Wonderful. Just beautiful. Okay. Standing on the rear deck of the ship, and there's a statue uh, having something to do with Yorktown. This is the carving station where they have beautiful looking prime rib. 
and turkey. No, he just said that he had spoons. Yeah, with different ones. Yeah. Okay, introduce yourselves. I'm John. Facing the And I'm Jan. I knew that. I'm Benny. <laughs> I'm Joe. This one's not good. Well, the white he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So good for goodness sake. So you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. My name is Susan Kundred, and I live in Durham, North Carolina. I play the oboe. Hi, my name is Ernie Kundred, and I also live with Susan in Durham, North Carolina. What a coincidence. Uh, and I play the uh, bass clarinet. We're in the dining room for lunch. Soon we'll be leaving Yorktown and heading to Washington. I'm ready to enjoy a red pepper bisque. This is a lobster roll. There's a macaroni vegetable salad and coleslaw next to it. Our afternoon goodies have just been delivered and they're chocolate covered strawberries with faces on them. Oh my. <laughs> Looks like a face anyway. Wow. So that's dinner doesn't look especially exciting. We both ordered the caramelized garlic and crab soup. My caprese salad looks great. And I'm having a Caesar salad. This is chicken marsala with mashed sweet potatoes and 
green beans. So you are fish? No. This morning's breakfast special is poached eggs on lobster hash with hollandaise and cheese grits. Mm -hmm. And I've got the rye toast with mine. And the same, except for sourdough toast. Mm -hmm. And I've started on grapefruit. Very good. Well, of all places, we're docked in Washington, D.C. at the wharf. And I see across the river the uh, there's the I-395 bridge that I commuted on for 28 years. In the distance, the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. And this is the new reconstructed wharf area. Now that the fog is lifted, we can see the Washington Monument. Oh, water taxi is doing a big business. Having lunch with Fred and Shirley, or Shirley and Fred. From Fort Myers, half the year. Fort Myers, Florida. Fort Myers, Florida. For half of the year. Yeah. And Kansas City, Missouri. The other half. Oh, that's cocktail hour. Well, it's good. Yes, I got you cup, cup of cola here instead of something else. The wharf is decorated beautifully with all kinds of lights, which we can see from the lounge. And so we're like, well, we'll just leave him here. I was going to come back. Well, our president has joined us. No, not that one. George. 
Mr. Washington himself. Yes, I am. Well, we have repaired to the dining room, and we see that the 14th Street Bridge is all lit up. That's something I've never seen before. We're getting all lit up, too. Tonight's nice menu. My shrimp and lobster salad looks fantastic. So does mine. I answer to so we have here Shirley and Norm. <laughs> you got that. That's good. Okay. Or Norm and Shirley. Oh, that's that's good. That's better. I like that. <laughs> Turn your phone back on. Your so your story is Randy and Sue. Randy and Sue. Yes. You can see it right now. And uh, yeah. I think 250 years from now you'll be able to see it. I think so. Yeah. But I was really proud of that when I did that. Oh, I, I can imagine. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, thank you. This is awesome. I I don't know what I feel about the water. See, I have other side. This is yeah. pot roast. Family pot. That is wonderful. On my father's side, it's all. Well, we're docked in Washington. And there's our ship. Looks bigger close up. It holds 175 passengers, but there are only 151 on this particular cruise. We're starting to pull out of our dock at the wharf in Washington. Now the thrusters are starting to fire up and any second we'll be moving. This is broccoli and cheddar soup. A very puny bowl I must say. As we're enjoying our soup, we're passing the wharf. You know what that is over there? What that modern looking building is over there? Arena stage? Oh. This is the area where the wharf will be continued in phase two. And right now we're passing Arena Stage. You can see that low slung roof. This is about 6th six, Street, Southwest. We're passing the Spirit of Washington now. This is the uh, dinner party boat. Docked right next to it is the Spirit of Mount Vernon. Very good. We're passing Fort McNair.
And you can see the officers' quarters here. The larger houses are occupied by the officers. And the higher your rank, the bigger the house you get. Here comes one. They're all identical. Behind the big houses on Fort McNair, you can just make out the new soccer stadium that opened this year. I think I'm And the Southwest Southwest Freeway. Another water taxi is approaching. And right across the river here. We're approaching the water the war college. There it is. It's the war college. Now we're passing Bowling Air Force Base. These are the residences at Bowling Air Force Base. One mile away. Yet another water taxi is approaching. Here comes the bridge. Sure. Never seen the Wilson Bridge from this side. Now that we've crossed under the Woodrow Wilson Bridge, we can see National Harbor. Sure. While we're enjoying the scenery, we're having pulled pork sandwiches. Good view of the MGM Grand Hotel.
We're cruising down the Potomac, the beautiful homes right on the river. So when I went over there, I'm not small neighbors to be but it's not like when I go over there, so neighbors. We're passing Fort Washington now. <laughs> this is a this is no longer used as a fort, but it's a national park now. And there on the hill is Mount Vernon. Why don't you come closer? Come on our veranda and we can get a view of Mount Vernon from here too. More of the mansions along the river. Beautiful homes. It's hard to believe that it's December 28th and I'm sitting out on the veranda in shirt sleeves. Looking at these beautiful, beautiful mansions. Every morning at 10 and every afternoon at 3, they have cookie time. They bring a big plate of cookies to each of the lounges and they're usually very good. They're usually two different kinds. Then after cookie time in the afternoon, the um, steward comes around with a cart of goodies, brings them to the staterooms. And this one looks like cream puffs. Mm -hmm. He knocks on the door about 3.15 and says, here are your afternoon goodies. And so, that's what we will have. I'm not sure how far south we've traveled, but it definitely is a railroad bridge down there. I don't know whether that's Occoquan or whether we're not quite that far south yet. We're passing what looks like a power station still on the Virginia side of the Potomac. We have a map on the TV set that shows us where we are. It's about 4.30 p.m. and we're still on the Potomac, uh, somewhere near Aquia Harbor, which isn't too far th south of where we live, really, uh, just north of Stafford. The river will be bending to the east in a little while. If you look at the boat, you can see where we are. Mm -hmm. And Aquia Harbor is uh, to the left side of the screen. This is the boat has turned a little bit, so you can see a nice Nice view of the sun on the water. Mm -hmm. We both ordered the lobster bisque, which is very good. And we also ordered baked mussels. And we're enjoying dinner with Sam and Mary. This is a caramel.
chocolate cheesecake. Yes, it is. That is, I pronounce it caramel. Yeah. Omelets and cheese grits. Boogie grits. Grits. Salmon scramble. It's good. Mm -hmm. It is good. We're in Cambridge, Maryland, and this is the famous old lighthouse. We're on the Chop Tank River in Cambridge. And this is the scene from the fourth deck. Well, well, I ordered a banana split. One of and the, what they... And the uh, chef with, outdid himself with this artistic arrangement. That makes it Look healthy. At the fruit, that makes it the healthy. flower. Wow. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Joey. You're All very right. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> this is a goat cheese and mushroom crouton. It looks scrumptious. And I ordered the caprese salad. We both ordered the blue cheese and bacon crusted strip steak, which is really delicious. The mashed potatoes and broccolini. Unfortunately, we've both eaten half of our portions. I can't the San Francisco. They're really, really good. Oh, no, now that was my We live in Oklahoma and we live in Arkansas. This is about half of the That's like to hear you say you're from Chicago. Oh, we both ordered the Mississippi mud cake. Naperville. And Pat ordered hers with vanilla ice cream. Good piece out of That's out. That's out. Yeah, we're trying to. Okay, I gotta get, I gotta get. We're adding but Marilyn and Bob to our video. Oh, okay. Thank you, my dear. One of our motivations that was only. Always going back, even after he graduated. And, with Antoinette and, you know, the, and Charles. We'd say, well, let's. He would say, so Peter and also Jim and Janie. Guy while we were there. When I moved back home in 2010, I kind of uh, let, let opera and classical music go and focused more on popular songs. Um, and I started in with my show, The Our Mighty Mississippi, and I think many of you have seen that, where I show the video and the pictures of the river while I'm singing songs and telling stories. And it's a, it's a show I'm very proud of. And, but it started out with classical song and, uh, and show tunes, because that was my background. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm telling the wrong story, aren't I? <laughs> Let's go with that. Yeah, we like it. Uh, because this is, this is one of the songs that I used in that show that's, that's no longer in the show. A song by Samuel Barber called Sure on This Shining <laughs> Night. This is on the nights, and, and those, we have so many Eagle Society members. You know how it goes on this boat, you know, with the, and especially on the river, yeah, with the happy hour and the dinner and then evening entertainment. And by uh, my quarter to 10, it's a pretty quiet boat. <laughs> and that's when Joanne and I make our way to the top deck and see the stars and the moon and the reflection and the beauty going by in the nighttime. And this, this is the song that reminds us of that time.
with the crab and the sweet corn Nice. Enjoy your meal. And this is a bacon wrapped scallop. I was wondering if that was. What have you got for dinner tonight? I have a rib steak, potatoes, and green beans, key lime pie looks great and it's the right color. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing breakfast. breakfast for sure. It's, well, it's almost I, the new year, and we're having our first one. First breakfast. We're docked in Annapolis on the last day of 2019. We were supposed to be anchored off the shore, but for some reason they were able to dock. It's a cloudy day and temperature is kind of chilly, but not bad for December. Well, we're in Annapolis and we're awaiting lunch. We're sitting in the back corner of the dining room, so for a change, you can see the whole dining room filled with happy people stuffing their faces. What you got there? Mushroom soup. And they make a very nice mixed salad here. They usually separate all the components. For our entree, we both ordered the lobster mac and cheese with peas and carrots. We're leaving Annapolis and headed to Baltimore. Beautiful sunset. But something's missing. The black eyed peas. Also, half the soup is missing because you've eaten half. No, I had two spoonfuls. Having oysters, rock and roll. And there are actually two. So it's oysters. This is a bacon wrap filet with stuffed shrimp, potato, and the black eyed peas I didn't get in the Hop and John. I'm having a veal chop with potato gratin, broccolini, prosciutto crumble, and mushroom bordelaise sauce. It's a mouthful. Yeah. Your 15 minutes of fame, or 15 seconds. <laughs> Drinking wine again. <laughs> yes, but look, you finished yours. 
We both had chocolate cheesecake, and it's really good, and unfortunately we both started on them already. The battle took place at 9 a.m. But if you don't feel like it's hard, there will always be regular breakfast. Yes. And it's hot, it's no sorry, no sorry. But there is a part of each other. Well, it's nearly midnight on New Year's Eve. We're at the Inner Harbor outside on our veranda and we're waiting for fireworks. There's the Domino Sugar sign, a landmark in Baltimore. I was expecting um, spinach, but if you read closely, that's not what it says. No. Nope. We're having flounder with um, steamed greens and potatoes. It's our New Year's night dinner, last dinner on the ship. It looks good. What are you having for your first course? French onion soup. And you've eaten most of it. Well, there wasn't that much in there. I had two two spoonfuls. Now as a second course, we're having poached shrimp cocktail. Tonight they have a dessert buffet. What have you got there? Blueberry cheesecake. Well, I have that too. And? And some chocolate cake. I'm okay. So, I, I'm sorry, but I did get the apple and the caramel uh, cake. Like a pie with caramel on the bottom and apple pie on the top. And it was very good. And, and he ate it all. Well, I only had one piece. I only have one piece, but you know, it, it, so everybody else likes it. Oh, thank you so much. All yes. of you. I think we've eaten with most everybody. Uh, when can we look for this YouTube video?